What's going on and welcome back. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today, we are working on bringing back a rusty Illinois balance staff. It's the 1506-47607 for a Model 15 Bun Special 16 size pocket watch. Today, our main tool that we will be using is my Marshall lathe. It is equipped with the Marshall motor. It's forward reverse. Um, very important to have one of these if you're going to start doing more precise watchmaking work. Um, there's just so many things that this can do. Um, cutting gears, polishing, grinding, shaping, you name it, it can do it. You just need to get the accessory for it. I have done a couple modifications to it. As you can see, the original leather pulley is not on there anymore. It's a metal one that just lasts a little bit longer. Um, it has a base on it. That way I can move it anywhere I want. It's not situated in any one place. Now, the one thing I absolutely love about my lathe is it has been rewired. And shout out to Snakehead Vintage not a sponsor um they have this amazing black twisted rayon cloth covered wire and it keeps it close to original without the fear of starting a fire which just makes me really happy um now they do also have the vintage plugins i did change that however i did keep the original connectors uh the brown ones if you saw them but it is just great to have, and I recommend if you're going to rewire it, kind of keep it like this. It pretty good price for what you get. Um, I will leave a link down in the description. And now let's get this party started. Another tool we will be using is this polisher. Um, it's a polishing stone that's attached here. It's round at one end and flat on the other side to help remove that rust for us. Now I'm going to be using a uh, number 13 chuck to hold this balance staff in place. And what I'm going to be doing is resting the tool on the arm and gently going over this. Now I have cut out a lot of this video because this does take time. A great mentor of mine told me once to do this right you need to take your time because you want to get the rust off not the metal if you take the metal off your collet your roller table will be loose and not fit properly so when removing this rust on any part whether it be a balance staff or a pivot go slow and make sure you're just removing the rust, not any of the metal. And you can see there, all that black on that stone is rust. So it is doing its job. Now, I will not be polishing the pivot so much. What I will be using is a balloon chuck. And you see that in the upper right hand corner. And what that will do is allow me to get the pivots polished and not break them. But first, before I'm really gonna polish the pivots, I wanna get this balance staff in the balance and make sure the pivot holes are the right size. Because if I take off too much here in this process, it's gonna be loose and not work and I'm gonna have to go out and get a different balance staff altogether. So in an upcoming video, I will be showing the process of putting the balance wheel assembly in the balloon chuck and turning it to get the pivots polished and the right dimension in the jewel. And that balloon chuck is very, very, very helpful. And as you can see here, we're going to zoom in and you're going to see just the tip of the pivot on it. It's right in the center. I know it is hard to see. 
but there is a little pivot sticking out of that. But that's our next tool we will be using on the lathe. But this is all about time. Just take your time, be slow, don't rush. Because if we rush it, we're gonna take two metal off. And if we take metal off, we're not gonna have the proper fit. I am stopping and checking throughout this process to make sure I'm getting rust and not any metal. I have edited that out so you guys don't have to wait through that painstaking process. But this does take a little bit longer than what this video is showing. Now, if you guys have any ideas for any upcoming videos, if you want to see anything in particular on the lathe, please share below, drop a comment. I'll, I'll try to do the best I can to make a video on it. They, they are a little bit harder when you're getting down to staff sizes in terms of being able to see everything on camera. But I will try my best to accommodate it. Just let me know. If you want to see that upcoming video of the bun special being worked on, and for you, for those of you that do love bun specials, here's a little hint. It is a type 2E. I don't know if that means anything to you. If it does, it's a very nice watch. Uh, it does have a broken balance, obviously. This will be the balance going in there. I'll be doing a full COA on that, and that's a clean oil and assemble. But it's a very nice watch, and this is the start of it. So to make sure you don't miss any new videos, please hit that little bell. And that little bell will notify you when I do put out the next video. And now I'm just reviewing it, making sure everything looks good. It does. So now, if you want to see the before and after, here it is. Before, after. Everyone, if you like these videos, you want to keep them coming, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Until then, see you on the next video. Thanks.